I'm so sorry, Fe. <laughs> I'm so sorry, PDX. Oh my god. Okay, you guys can watch there. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on. It was fine earlier. Anyway, And there you go, guys. <laughs> That's PDX. Guys, this week's final boss. I'm so sorry. I don't know. I was seriously testing it out earlier, and I was like, yeah, looks like it's good. I don't know. You know, everything seems fine. <laughs> um, gotta run the video at 480, brother. You gotta be low, uh, low res toaster resolution. Yeah, that's a such a bummer. I'm so sorry, PDX. I'm so so I'm so so about sorry about that PDX. Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that shit was gonna happen. They're like, yeah. Anyway, good luck, Sean. Dude, you're about to go up against PDX, Noctis Extraordinary. Yeah, and I definitely know after this PDX is uh, he's gonna have a little bit of a time with uh, Marduk. Recently, he's uh, I, I know he's definitely been having some issues with the Marduk matchup. You know, uh, been sitting in the chat, been listening to him, but uh, hopefully he can find a way around tonight. Let's see. Actually, me and PDX have tournament history. Uh, I played him in ICFC, the last ICFC I played. He's been kicking ass in all of them, but in the one IPCFC that I did play, I was able to beat him, send him to losers, and then afterwards, uh, in the double jeopardy, I took it to him again. So this is a little bit of a run back as well, an ICFC run back. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's going to be... He didn't even want to play Noctis against Katarina. He's feeling confident, so he went straight into double gen. Damn, he's pulling up the quote-unquote bigoted character. All right then, I see you, Fee. I see you. Fight. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting because he's definitely been playing quite a bit of Devil Jin on stream, but let's see if that has been paying off. I wasn't ready for this, but I wasn't ready for... Oh my gosh. Hey, man, if he wins as the final boss here, he can... You know, he can just say, Devil Jin carried my ass. <laughs> This character is racist. <laughs> Classic fear. This is what happens when we started the Noctis trailer. Now he refuses to play him. So it would seem. Damn, but Sean, dude, step in that crash dash three. I definitely give him a hard time with the Katarina here. But let's see how prepared he is for the matchup because first and foremost, uh, Sean they didn't really give away too much of the Cat Arena play tonight, so he will just have to rely on all of his knowledge against other Cat Arenas to be able to win tonight. And oh, nice, Sean dude, closing out with a few pokes there, nice and easy. Zero dollars hold forward. <laughs> all right, she uh, she. I see what you're saying, but yeah, <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> also, I just realized saying that name out in the Hawaii, yeah, in uh, the Hawaii stream, it has a little bit of a different implication. Damn, Sean, dude, ready for that rage drive, and punishes him nice and clean for that. Taking the second round. He's looking like he's having a little trouble here. I might have to switch over to the Noctis. But 
Yeah, look at both of them though. Very, very clean movement from both of them, but just Sean, dude. Ready to sidestep those health groups. Ready to just sidestep in general, honestly. Just getting those nice clean punishes. Not letting T go super ham on this DJ. And th with that, that is the first game. Point one, going to Sean Dude's Katarina. I don't know about that, Layton, but yeah. We going straight for the Noctis now. Gotta go for the throat here, I guess. Ooh. Now you get to see the PDX specials here. Oh, man. And already. Just showing more. Devastation. And just that Noctis familiarity from the Noctis main. Round two. Fight. Starting off the first round with the seven golden letters. But, John, dude. At least making sure that ain't gonna happen this time. But, oh my god. So the forward forward one plus two into that forward forward one plus two. Finding that counter hit there. My god. Wrong scene, so <laughs> Oh yes, um, yeah, it looks like it's still... I forgot, <laughs> y'all can see me up here, you know, get a little, uh, of that uh, Hanabata, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know that word, what does that mean? A little bit of that, uh, nose butter. Nah, I'm not doing that, but, you know. See our uh, pretty faces in this. Man, I'm, I'm insulted, chat. You don't want to see our pretty faces? While Fia is slowly but surely cutting down on Sean Dude up in here. Ooh! Damn. And Fia taking that with a no round round there. Just. Round one. Fight. Ooh, and the island paradise. Man, I love the music on this stage. I, I think most tech and old heads really do like the music here, especially when you break the wall and the uh, final round as well, since they're the same music. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, this is the most beautiful combo. What a combo! Oh my gosh, that was so sick. And if there's one thing Fee has, it's elegant ass combos. Man just floats. Uh, and he stings with them swords. Oh. With the uh, card blades, as we like to call them. Ooh, Sean, dude. Pressing doing that string and he catches him off guard. And, oh! Gets the down for two. Yeah, man. Perfect. Man does Run. not stop running that perfect straight into Sean, dude's cat. I'm just gonna have to do something. Oh, no, but... It's hit by the wall runnings. Ooh. Under looking like he's in a little trouble here. Phoenix just again making all those right calls right now. And finishing it off with another no round brown. Round one. Fight. Alright, now Sean to pull out the Marduk here. Now, Fee's the one who's gonna have to go against the quote unquote bigoted character, but let's see if he's made some good adapt adaptations from our ICFC exhibitions. <laughs> Man, Cozy! I just see it, it's over already. I don't know about that, Cozy, you know? <laughs> you don't wanna give Fee any farther to shoot you in his channel. Sure, you're a mod, but he'll still do it. Oh man. Somebody shoot this guy. Definitely struggling over here. Oh, damn! And takes it back to the brink of death. Man, I guarantee you, after this, he's gonna make a video. Marduk is hella bigoted. <laughs> some other. No, no. What? It's gonna be more clear. Marduk is Australian. It's not about what a race he is, it's about the quality of his moves. <laughs> but she definitely showing that he's done at least a little bit of research here, giving Shandu's Marduk a very hard time. Shandu calling out the low there. Oh, Drop the combo, but oh, he hits the tackle and takes that point. Layton <laughs> saying he's going down to six. Okay, alright. 
How dare you call me a fee? Hey man, I'm a fee generate too, okay? I, I self-label my terms. Or I self-label myself as a fee generate, alright? It's a badge of honor. God literally said, yes sir, yes sir. Sitting on him with the thicky Marduk, but... Once again, fee... Getting that early momentum, but let's see if you can carry it out here. Oh, oh no! Catch a counter hit up forward three to the face. So it would see him. Damn. And Sean did have that red to finish it off with that big rage art combo. I was really worried that wasn't gonna kill. Round four. You can't be a feed generate and main gigas. <laughs> Science says otherwise. <laughs> At least they think the science is otherwise. I don't know how to read graphs. <laughs> yeah. And he closing out with a perfect against Sean. Dude, man, he's not liking the results. So once again, we're at a double Luigi situation. See if he's a scientific study of the Marducks. Guys, oh, blocks exploding Python. It gets a good punish. Got to test him with the pokes, testing him with the four, one plus four, but oh my god! Shot dude landing a good counter hit there with the down back two. Oh my god! Oh my god! Space on, Shot dude just slowly pushing him to the corner, but Fee catches the timing there, gets a good counter hit. But Shot dude getting his game plan started with the red. Oh, breaking the throw, and V takes that three to two. Very closely played, but it is VDX versus Sean, dude. With the first round starting in a way that I really like. Dang, taking him to the grapple house and getting a fat, juicy combo. That's like seventy percent. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, but VDX finding. A very, very good down for two and breaking the floor. Looking for this floor. Rick's getting that and taking him all the way down to the bottom level. All before the gun, and now Sean, dude, has lost his resource. Dang. Oh. My goodness. A fee of closing it out with a well placed race drive. Again, finding his mark with that down for two. Timing for that is immaculate. But Sean, dude, in the red, getting his game plan started here once again. Showing us what Marta can do with that red cloak of justice. Oh no, but Fi doing the oppression with the 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Damn, classic Noctis strats. Classic. Nothing like it. Oh no! Those, 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 those. Vente dos, vente dos, vente dos. Round four. Sean, dude. <laughs> Unhappy about this. Oh my god! And now he's doing the feast stuff there. You know, you know how down four two, crush eyes. Yeah. That wall rising one plus two. That shit also crushes. Uh, Hot. Did I just say down four two crushes? Those I meant highs. If I said low, yeah, crushes highs. And Sean, dude, taking that back. Two, two, double Luigi once again. Now it all comes down to this. For this round. Will Sean, dude, be able to pull through and get a point, or will Fee continue with his rampage on the Hawaii local scene? <laughs> Fight against the bigotry ban Marduk today. Oh no. Oh man. Nice, Sean, dude. I need a well placed. In. Wow, that. Ugh. I had to blink my eyes because I didn't believe I did that much damage. Sheesh. Ooh, he getting a good combo and gets him with a full crowd shield. It's mixed by the time. <laughs> and Marty thanking Fee for giving a little bit of knowledge. Oh my God. 
But Sean, dude, returned into some of that knowledge with a big old launcher there, exploding pythons at the wall. Oh. My butt. Ooh, Sean, dude. Yeah, certain implements on these books, like the down through there, as he mentioned. Yeah, something he has to do more, but. Man, Fee just catching him a little bit off guard. Ooh. Ah, no, but then Sean, dude. Race driving into the map. Caught him off guard there, but not enough. He getting a nice little wall rising forward punish. Yeah, I, I saw that earlier when Sleeping Man was like, my python exploded. I see what you're doing up in chat. <laughs> oh! My god, Sean, dude. Missing that over there. That is unfortunate. That is tragic. Again, Sean, dude, is at the wall. Finding that difficulty here. One hit, we'll do it. And a down forward two straight to the abdomen. Takes that second around. Oh man, and already he's blocked everything. Getting those punishes and looking like might be a no round round. Sean, dude, gonna have to do something with the potential veil of red or gets hit by a launcher. Well, then that's it. And he gets hit by the. Oh no! What? He drops that. He tried to go for. The... See, you're not streaming. You're not streaming, man. You don't have to go for those odd kills. Oh, oh my god, man. Put the I... Knight's Arnament on me. <laughs> he tried. GG's, buddy. He tried. He tried. Well, you know what? In the end, it worked. Fee takes that five to one. Well done by Fee. I get my one. I always get my one. You always get your one. Hey, you now that's um, <laughs> cozy Lord hitting him up with the toxic DX. It's not toxic if he whiffs the unblockable. Come on. <laughs> it's fair play. So it benefited me, even though I just stood there frozen. Oh, well, oh, if you want to come in here and uh, give a few words, I don't know. Do we want to do that? Uh, Ask him about his heiress cosplay. I forgot. <laughs> oh, that was great. Yeah, I forgot yeah, that I was to cool. ask him if he wanted to come in the, the phone call. But, um, uh, yeah, PDX, uh, did you want to jump in and say a few words? You don't have to. It's up, completely optional. Talk about how Marduk eats poop. I think he's gonna say something a little bit more along the lines of uh, Marduk is a very racist character, very bigoted. <laughs> Sounds if like anything, he's a woman abuser. Oh yeah, wait, hold on. Before we continue, I wanna I wanna do a redo of the trailer, guys. I'm I, I feel so bad about that because you know I, I can't let that go. So I'm gonna do a redo. You guys, you gotta watch this. Whoops, hold up. Someone might walk people there. That's not it. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. Uh oh, don't show us the uh, ten hamster spoon. <laughs> no ten hamsters. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> we can add each other as friends. Oh, where is the volume? There we go. Can you, can you guys hear it? Okay. I hope you guys can hear it. Okay. Probably can't hear it on the stream. Or to the Discord call. Yeah, it works fine. Yeah. Oh, damn, yeah, it's working fine. Hey, bro, it's Uncle Key. Might be tonight's final boss. Huh? I know, or you're gonna love the person that's gonna control you, dude. He's pretty high up there with the Tekken community. And don't worry, it's not gonna be D-Hums, it's not gonna be Captain Alara, it's not gonna be that fucker Glenn. <sighs> If that's it, shoots them, man. Ah. Honestly, it's coming from both of them too, though. Yeah. Like, it's, it's awkward on both sides. Like that's the reason why I think BDX is playing at such a weird pace too, because it, yeah. like they're both like kind it. of forcing it out of each other. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yo, that oh, was yeah. that was bad. That was wow. beautiful. Wow, oh, that no, is. Yeah, that's something he does. He throws and defense. Oh, like that. Wow. Yo, he nice. is running it back to the. 
versus Total Four? Hey man, you said it was Data, Rip. You said it was Data. Oh, that was a 50-50 for his life. Ooh, nice Wait, try. Got it, Barry. Nice try. Oh, oh my god. god. Wait. No, don't double. No. Do you have to win the tournament? One more hit will do it. Oh, I risk it. Oh, what is this? Oh, nice. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yo, big trouble, but Blue's yeah, not gonna hit! Man, big chance, big chance. Reflect, reflect! Oh my goodness, bro! No, Blue! Oh, 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 That whip in front of this man. That's the mid-off. Oh, man. Three. Trouble here. Maybe a counter or something. Oh, it's not that counter. Call for it. Wrong one. It's over. BDX takes it. Two. Whoa! Let's go. What the hell? Yep, there you go. <laughs> that was that's what the trailer is really supposed to sound like, you know. Not my not my uh, uh, improv uh, audio show that I was doing for you guys. <laughs> I don't know, man. That beatboxing was pretty sick, low key. I think everybody here will say, you know, that they were that was a good edit too. It's like we have the original Justice League and then the Snyder cut. So, I mean, both both have their high points. Absolutely, but uh, Fee is waiting in the movie room, so let's not keep him waiting too long. Oh, wait, okay, I see him. I'll bring him in. Okay. Okay, I brought him in. He should be able to hit us up now. Well, hello. 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 First of all, I gotta say, big fan. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I was pretty happy to see that you come through as the uh, final boss, man. Thank you for... You know, giving your time and your whoop ass abilities into was, the Hawaiian Tekken stream. I was happy to be invited. No, that was really sweet. Oh, it was, it was dope. And uh, wow, I I have this curse going on where every week when I make it to the final boss, I always get one in five, one in five by Jermanji, by Rip. Now I can have <laughs> the FDX to the esteemed list. I feel like I'm getting a, a a list of people in Hollywood who I've tracked down and forced them to give me an autograph. I, I know what you mean. I have the, uh, I have the, uh, loot, I think it's like fourth place curse right now over and over. So I feel like, mm -hmm. it's, it's like you get one and then it, it keeps coming. You're like, hmm. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out, I'm sure. Oh. Well, dang, man. Uh, yeah, I tried to have that ICFC run back from several, several weeks ago. My one okay run, but. That was uh, solid. Oh, yeah. My, my Katarina. Nothing, my, no, anything. My. Nothing was good. <laughs> so, <laughs> whew, at the 2.30 a.m. jitters, man. But I can't that's even make solid. an excuse. You're in the same time zone as I. <laughs> yeah, no, that's solid. Doing commentary on top of that, that's sweet. I don't know, I'm trying to pull a little entertainment value in there. Yeah. But, uh, Kiola, what, what did you think, man? Yeah, well, first, thank you so much for accepting the invite. Yeah, I know, you know, I wasn't sure if you are going to bite, but I... Yeah, I got lucky. You said yeah, and I'm very glad that you did because tonight was amazing, man. You know, you played very, very well. You know, it was interesting seeing the Devil Jin in the first round. You know, a uh, classic yeah. Fia, bigoted yeah. character, right? Yeah, I had to. I'm I'm on a mission, and there, there are no off days when you uh, have a cause to fight for. You know, you should have <laughs> given me like four more matches with them, man. I would have loved nah, to. If, they, know, if I played any more, if I played any more Devil Jin on stream, they would have like been. We gotta buff this Devil Jin guy. He's not good enough. <laughs> not, can't have that happening. So I had to take one for the team and just put down, put down the controller and be like, I can't pick this character. <laughs> Oh, thank God. I hope that means they're going to buff Marduk after seeing this. Yes. Oh, boy. Oh, no. I played myself. myself. <laughs> I was the real winner. I came out on top of this first of five. But... Short-sighted by me. I, should, I, I think that just means I have to mirror Marduk every time I play against one, though. Ah, see? Now you understand the secret I try to tell everybody. Just play Marduk. You don't like it. <laughs> well, man, it hits like, a, it hits like a moral, moral part of my body that I'm not ready to come to terms with yet, but... <laughs> 
Oh, come on. Get get into playing him is helpful for figuring it out, though. Yes, and there's just something so satisfying about sitting on people's chests. It's just, it's it's the rightful place, you know? It's like using a squatty potty. It's the natural shape for a human body to be all, sitting. All is where it belongs, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm definitely going to be ruminating on this loss hard. Think about how I could have been spamming down back two and down <laughs> three even harder. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, after this, though, I do have to ask Marduk. Is he still the bigoted character? Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> I uh, I could talk about that all day. I'm not even gonna open that can of worms. But yeah, no, I think uh, he has defined weaknesses somewhat. I don't know if it's still fair, but you know whether or not it's fair or not, he's a good character, and picking him is just smart if you want to win. You know? Absolutely. Yeah, and then those things you just have to be thinking about. Of like, okay. If I do a down for if I do a jab and he does a down forward one nine out of ten times, I'm gonna lose that sucker because I'm so tall. But I just you gotta you work around what your character gives you. For every weakness, yeah. there's 15 strengths for Marduk, so I I can't complain. It is interesting playing that little mind game around the ground throws. Like oh okay, interesting. I use loosely, but like it is like part of something I think about is like, oh, is my opponent playing this mind game where like, are we doing damage or combo or whatever? Or are we just literally just guessing? Like, am I going to press one or two? Sometimes I feel like I'm thinking and sometimes I'm like, well, time to guess. And the, I'm glad at least the tackle punches are reactable, but the juking makes that kind of messed up. If that weren't there, I think I'd feel a lot better about it because tackle is my least frustrating part about him. For Oh, you think tackle's game. perfectly fine? Fair? I <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I wouldn't go that nice far, ball. but it is the least egregious to me. I think he has him having like what the third best initial backdash frames is kind of crazy. I think his like gigantic shoulders make his legs hard to hit. So I think uh, his evasiveness is very shocking. Probably is because Gigas doesn't have any of that. Gigas is awful to move around with. Absolutely and, awful. Yeah. It feels like you are swimming through molasses. Yeah, I was playing against a. I played a Gigas and a Marduk in a row. I'm like, half of these moves are the same. This guy just can move, and the other guy can't. Like, <laughs> it's kind of silly. Yeah, well, you know, it's a little cousin. He's trying to bite our swag right now. We let him have yeah. his little cop. You know, wear our old clothes, but. You know, <laughs> we know the Marduk players that where it's truly at. But yeah, man, he could step. I was surprised that I got around a couple of those while running one plus twos. I just counted my blessings. It's like, <gasps> I did it. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I think against Noctis specifically, Joey Fury has really demonstrated how strong not like uh, you can sidestep down forward one and like do your own down forward one. Like it's it's pretty shocking that Noctis can't lock down Marduk like say Devil Jin would with like sidestep left mm -hmm. or something. You know, so that's kind of a a cool thing I found out from playing against this character over and over and over. <laughs> yeah, over and over and over indeed, because how many times did you even play against Marduk? Was it in ICFC Exhibition? It was, uh, I played Ties and Joey Furies, but the day before I had also played, I think, Ties and Joey Furies. So it was like... Oh, right. Oh, man, that's, that is hell. I, I, I held off for the longest time. I'm like, you know, we can learn, we can adapt, we gotta figure it out. I, you know, I can't just default to this character's dumb. Nah, that's gone. This character's dumb. But we just do what we can. <laughs> Good mindset yeah. going forward. I like it. And not drop two games playing Weenie Katarina. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I was actually really interested in that because uh, since that game in general, like my thoughtfulness that goes into neutral and like because like you played the keep out game so strong uh, the last time we played when you did uh i think it was icfc or something where you like yep. you put me in losers um yeah since then i've like had like a really i try to be a lot more cerebral with how i'm moving because usually i just kind of backdash and just do whatever but like uh i try to be really like looking for when they're coming in looking like when are we when the when the space closes between us what is like our default action you know and uh coming to that awareness was partially because you were able to like dismantle my like autopilot neutral so well so i thought that was a really cool to play you again with these developments and then like seeing how you'll respond and then how i'll respond i think that's one of the coolest things about this game oh absolutely because i was thinking about that the whole time just okay if i can keep out his forward forward one plus two while running one plus two that's like the first steps i think yeah. to dismantling the noctis approach the noctis neutral but then we just start run up back dash do nothing yeah, and the then power I, of I doing nothing. Oh, so strong. 
<laughs> the power of doing nothing is crazy in this game, and like less is more. I, that's what I'm. That's where I'm at right now. Is less is more because like you don't have to do a frame trap every time. You don't have to do everything. It makes it so much scarier. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's I saw that enough. when I played against Joey Fu in the uh, Gigas v Gigas matchup in uh, the Equinox Robo Rumble. I think it was. You know, it's just. What's the difference? He just made me do more, and he just did less, and that got him to win because I tried to yeah. do too much. Yeah. Just you make your opponent trip. Martial arts. Right, just Sorry, what was that? Who, uh, you see that a lot in martial arts and grappling and lots of different martial arts. Of The one who does less conserves, they stay more focused, they're thinking about less, and that makes them more effective just in, yeah. like, in the fight. And so it really translates here very well, too. I think so. Like, not being the one who's committed and having more options by being like i don't want to say purely reactive because i think that like is a bit slower than being proactive mm -hmm. but it is cool to be like the person who leaves more options on the table and can pick the right one consistently seems to be like a common theme across everything you know absolutely yeah being it's a real skill to be able to play slower than your opponent but yet set the pace for the match yeah yeah because I, I think if you're there is like definitely merit to like Kind of like a blitz style where you're like setting the pace and like taking initiative and your opponent's forced to respond 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 but i think the opponent who can because bruce lee talked about you know like when my opponent expands i contract when they contract i expand and i think that there is like merit in being able to give way to that kind of rush pressure like if you picture like you know like a zerg rush or something against like a like a slower uh against starcraft yeah like a zerg rush against like protoss it's like a really fast fast-paced rush down versus like the slow build up and i think that it's cool seeing that apply in multiple games or like you said in like martial arts and things like that i could go off on this forever but i think you know what i mean like it's really cool i think exploring these disciplines and approaches uh, and like and how they're all fitting together it's really sweet you got me on that and i can just i gotta stop before it <laughs> goes yeah. on no you have out. such amazing way of looking at this game looking at offense, defense, and just the relationship between the two characters and the relationship with the space in between. And, you know, I really encourage anybody who hasn't already in the chat, even though everybody has, go check out Fee's stream. You know, I got hooked when I saw you doing breathing exercises on stream. Like, oh, this, guy, <laughs> this guy gets what it means to stay cool and compete and play, put your best foot forward and not play with your emotions and your immediate impulses but to develop strategy, plan, and master yourself within the game of not overreacting and not, you know, under, like just staying still, but finding this perfect balance. And, you know, you got a great philosophy on the game, man. You know, so it's so refreshing in an era where so many people just will date, like just default to negativity, both like on the game and their mentality towards it. So, man, you got great stuff and like, said i learned everything about noctis from you so i love how you wrapped that up that's really well i i think that you said it beautifully and uh i appreciate that yeah um i think yeah it's just it, i think there's so much room for positivity and you know getting something out of our experience putting all this time into this game but i think the the big thing is like for me is i guess i'm so adamant about it because it was not my default like if i were someone who would have probably like succeeded or gotten really far in like competitive scenes on my own tendencies i would be the guy who's like i'm not thinking i just press buttons but like that didn't work for me so i had to uh find other ways to go about it and i think that's how i arrived at kind of the philosophy i use now and continue to grow no, that's, that's beautiful man that's really well put and you know i'm gonna try to definitely strive towards that mentality keel you got any closing closing thoughts on for fee man that he's blessed us with his presence Kick Absolutely, you know, oh, there's a <laughs> hey man, you know, there's always time to come back, there's always time to improve, and you know, there's definitely a lot that I have to think about. You know, I'm still at the kind of pressing buttons trying to think about strategies, but you know, goddamn, Julia's out there just making me feel like I'm an insignificant wee babe. But I, I think I speak for against Julia, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is true, you know, and yeah, semi character crisis as well, but you know. I think I speak for everyone here when we say that, you know, I think we're going to always be happy to have you if you want to participate in our tournaments, you know, maybe try to play that devil gin, see where it takes you or oh someone else. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll be happy to join uh, when I have the opportunity, when I, uh, you know, when my schedule decides to be less annoying. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, you know, always feel free to talk here. Don't be a stranger. We're all friendly people. I'm pretty sure we don't bite. <laughs> 
I'll flip the coin on that. Sounds good. I appreciate that. <laughs> Ooh, I like coin flips. <laughs> well, all right, guys. Thank you so much to the chat, everybody watching. And thank you again, Fee, for coming through. Again, check out his stream and check out his. If you're going to play Noctis, then you need to download his mod that gives him the English voice because it is so much better. <laughs> Ooh, I can't play the I get I can't play Noctis on anybody that's not my setup. It's like he's not saying the things I want him to say. But uh <laughs> thank you again, homies, everybody. This has been a great night. This has been Hawaii Online Series Tekken, week 37, Spoon, Alara, Uncle, all the homies keeping it holding it down. So thank you. Spoon, close us out, dog. <laughs>